Hey everyone, today I'll introduce you to our brand new Canva app, 3D Maker. This free app lets you convert any element into 3D with just a few clicks. Whether it's text, graphics, or images, you can easily add depth, adjust angles, and create stunning 3D designs right inside Canva. Let me show you how it works. First, install the app. Go to Apps, search for 3D Maker, and click to install. Once it's installed, you'll see this interface. Now, let's start by converting text into 3D. Click Convert Design to 3D, then select the maximum size, set the background to transparent, and hit Export. Now, you'll see the 3D preview. You can zoom in or out using the mouse wheel. Below the preview, there's a Randomize Angles button. Clicking it will automatically change the element's position. You can also adjust the angle manually by holding and rotating it. Next, we have the Depth option, which adds a cool 3D effect. And if you want precise control, use the horizontal and vertical rotation sliders to set a specific direction. Once you're happy with the result, just add it to your design and resize it as needed. That's how easy it is. This app also works with graphics and photos. Let's try it with a graphic. First, increase its size, then go back to 3D Maker, Go back, select the page, and hit Convert Design to 3D. Again, choose Maximum Size and Transparent Background, then select Current Page and click Export. Now, zoom in, adjust the angle, and add some depth. Let's place it on a new page. And look how amazing that looks. Lastly, let's try it with an image. Add an image to the page, Let's crop it slightly and center it. Now go back to the app, click back again, and hit Convert Design to 3D. Set it to maximum size, select Transparent Background, and choose Current Page, then click Export. Once again, adjust the zoom, depth, and angle. When you're done, add it to Design. And there you go, the image is now in 3D. So that's how you can easily convert any element into 3D using 3D Maker. What do you think about this app? Let me know in the comments.